Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin here and today I'm doing a get ready with me. I am going to a winter ball this evening for and with my university. It's all in, in support of Conscious, which is a mental health charity. So very much for a good cause and I'm really excited to be there. So today I'm gonna to be filming a get ready with me to show you what makeup I'm gonna be doing because I really wanna go for like a really wintry vibe. The dress which I'm wearing, which I will show you is navy. It's quite plain. I can do my makeup quite heavy, I feel like. So I'm gonna go for like a dark navy eye. Navy, not something which I've ever actually experimented with. And I don't know if you can see, but I think I've got one, two, three, four, five palettes, eye palettes sitting here because I'm just going to dip into all of them and see what I can do. Try to go for like a navy dark smoky eye, nude lips most likely and it's just going to be a get ready with me. I'm getting ready at two o'clock in the afternoon because the sun is planning to set in an hour's time. So um, yeah, I'm sorry by the end of this video if it's super dark. There wasn't really much I could do because honestly it's two o'clock. It's ridiculous how early I'm getting ready for this ball. It starts at seven and it's two o'clock, I'm getting ready. So I really could not realistically get ready any earlier for you. Otherwise I'd just be waking up to get ready. I'm gonna get started, I'm gonna do this as a voiceover because I want to concentrate, focus on my makeup. I'll show you my hair and I'll show you my outfit as well at the end of this video. So stay tuned, I hope you enjoy, give a like, give a subscribe, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by just tying my hair up, getting it out of my face, and then using the Lasting Finish Concealer from Rimmel. I'm gonna be packing that all over my eyelids to get us a nice, even base before we start eyeshadow. The first palette which I'm gonna be using today is by I Heart Revolution. I'm gonna be taking the Macaroons palette and firstly taking the shade Almond and blending that all over my eyelid to set the concealer and also get again a nice even base. Then I'm gonna move on to the Soph Does Nails palette. I don't have the little insert anymore to be able to tell you what the color names are, but as you can see, I'm using this kind of transition-y shade here on a big fluffy brush and just blending that into my crease. Then I'm going to take the darker transition shade, mix it in with the slightly lighter one and again go over the crease of our eye to darken that transition shade up. So I started off using this MUA palette using the dark blue at the very bottom corner. However, I wasn't really super impressed. It did get a nice blue shade started in this makeup look, but honestly it didn't blend very much and it had quite a lot of fallout. So instead I went back to the Macaroons palette and took the shade Finishing Touch on my finger and packed that on all over my eyelid because I just wanted to go full out glittery navy vibes. Back to the Soph Does Nails palette, I'm taking the two darkest shades at the very bottom corner, blending that both in my outer corner and then going back in with a transition shade and blending that all out to make sure it blended nicely. Then I went in with the Mario Badescu water and put that all over my face to hydrate my face. And then I went in with the Bobbi Brown face brace and primed my face using that. So before I went on with foundation, I used the Dewy Stick from Ciate and put that on my highlighted areas, on my cheekbones and down my nose and blended that in with my fingers. For foundation, I decided to use the All Nighter Urban Decay foundation. I haven't used this in a while. I also used some Max Fix Plus on my beauty blender and some of the Varsali oil on my skin as well and mixed that all together whilst I blended it all out. Then I used this mini high beam from Benefit and put on a little bit of liquid highlight on my cheekbones and down my nose and then used the MAC concealer under my eye and on my chin. This is pretty light so I wanted a nice highlight underneath my eyes really brighten up those areas on my face and again blending that in with a beauty blender. For powder, I use the W7 Banana Dreams Powder. It's a really great, affordable, loose powder and I use it a lot, so I pop that on. For bronzer, I used the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. I've not used this in a while and I completely forgot actually how amazing it was, so I got a super great contour with that. It was quite heavy, quite dark, but you know what? I was going for a dramatic look anyway, so that is what I used. Then I used a Milani Baked Blusher. It's a really pretty shimmery blusher so I just popped that on to the apples of my cheeks. 
For a highlight, I'm gonna be taking this one by Revolution. How beautiful is this? I've been using it as a mirror all throughout this video and I love this highlight. It's super, super pretty. I also just went and did a little bit of contour on my nose and also highlight on my nose. And then for brows, I used the Cabrow by Benefit. I'm using a lot of Benefit products in this video and filled in my eyebrows. I usually just fill in the bottom, fill in the top, and then from any excess product on the brush, I blend the middle. That's my technique. Then I went in with the darker shades from the High Heart Revolution Macaroons palette and blended that underneath my eyes. You can see here I took the finishing touch dark shade, again on a brush, popped that underneath my eyes to balance out this look. Then for eyeliner, I firstly took this one which is from the Balm and simply created a small thin line on my eyelid. This was purely for when I added eyelashes, it would be a lot easier and I wouldn't have any sort of uneven awkwardness. And then using the AM to PM liner from Lottie, I am just putting a black pencil liner on my waterline. For mascara, I'm just doing a one coat of this mascara from Models Own before I put my lashes on. Unfortunately, I didn't show you doing my lashes, but I did use the Ardell Wispies. Then for lips, I'm going to be using two products. Firstly, I'm going to be taking this one from Ofra. This is from the Nikki Tutorials collection, and it's in the shade Nude Potion. And then I'm going to be taking a lip gloss on top, which is a Miss Sporty lip gloss, and I will write the shade in the description box for you guys because I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> so now moving on to my hair, I'm just taking it down and brushing it out. I split my hair into a middle parting and then took this powder. It's like a volumizing powder. I cannot pronounce the brand. Everybody always corrects me on it, so I'm not even gonna bother. I'll just write it down in the description, but it is such a good product. It is so good at firstly volumizing, but also just getting a really good texture to your hair that you can manipulate your hair really well. So I basically just smoothed out my hair and put it in a low bun and then I went in with some hairspray and made sure it was all super sleek and gonna stay all evening. Then I went in with my GHDs and just straightened the front of my hair to get any bumps away. And now I'm just adding in my jewellery to my ears and my fingers. <laughs> So this is the finished look. I really hope that you like it. I did try and go for like more navy, but I think it just kind of generally came out quite smoky and wintry and I did absolutely love this makeup. It was so perfect and went really well with my dress. So this is the completed look. So I'm finished doing my makeup and my hair. I just ended up with like a low bun with like the front parts of my hair out, which I think looks fine. And I'm gonna go put my dress on. So I will insert the clips with my dress right now. I put on my dress and I've switched over to my vlogging camera because I feel like we can get a better shot with my dress because the lens which I use on my big camera is too close up. Anyway, right, let's show you my dress. I hope you can see it. So my dress is from Misguided. It's from the tall section, so it's long enough to fit me. It has like a one shoulder kind of vibe. So yeah, one shoulder. This is what my dress looks like. It's got a slit kind of from the knee, just above the knee, all the way down. For jewellery, I am going to quickly just like fake tan my hands because I've realised how pale they are and also I'm going to do my nails. But um, the bangle which I'm wearing is from Daniel Wellington. Hopefully you can see that there. My two rings are from Pandora and then my earrings I think are from BHS. So yeah, this is my dress. There'll be plenty of photos on Instagram as well as this night is going to be included in a vlog so you'll be able to kind of see me buzzing about in my dress in other kind of locations and on my Instagram maybe is a better place to go see it because I know that the camera angle is really funny right now. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I do also want to mention that I am painting my nails now. Like I'm doing this after the video. We're not going like this with this horrible situation going on, don't you worry. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, hope you liked the hair, makeup, outfit, let me know your thoughts in the description. In the description, let me know your thoughts in the comments because I always like chatting to you guys. And I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!